Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at what are paths and compound paths in Illustrator. Now this is a video that's better suited for beginner users who are trying to work out exactly what's going on in Illustrator because it can be pretty confusing. I'm using Illustrator CC and I've gone ahead and drawn some shapes into this document that we can have a look at. Now I've got two sitting here and they look pretty much like they're the same shape. But over here in the layers panel, one is a path and one is a line. Well, in earlier versions of Illustrator, they probably both would have been paths. The reason for the change is that in the newer versions of Illustrator, there's some additional points when you draw something like, for example, a rectangle, there are some additional points here that you can use to, for example, bring in the corners of the shape. So the shape has some additional bits and pieces in it, if you like. And you can see here in the layers palette that it's marked as a rectangle. If I get rid of those little handles, which I can do by choosing object and then shape and expand shape, then you'll see that it just becomes a path. And in earlier versions of Illustrator, pretty much everything was a path. They're just being given names now because of the special features that have been added to them. Here, this is an ellipse. You can see it's an ellipse, but if we expanded that shape with object, shape, expand shape, then it's just going to become a path, a circle, pretty much as we've been doing with all versions of Illustrator until this most recent one. Now I'm going to put these two shapes on top of each other. It doesn't matter whether they're paths or ellipses. I've selected both of them and what I'm going to do is poke a hole in this red one by removing the pink section. I do that from the Pathfinder palette. You'll see that the pink is on top. You can see it, that, that's telling you it's on top. It's also higher up in the stack in the layers palette. With those two shapes selected, I can click here on minus front and that will poke a hole in that ellipse. And what I get down here is what's called a compound path. And this is the point at which new Illustrator users just sometimes have a total fit because all of a sudden you've got this thing called a compound path. And what is that? Well, anytime you've got something that's got a hole in it, you're going to have a compound path because Illustrator has to manage not only the outside area, but also the inside. And so on the inside of the shape, there will be nodes or anchor points here to control the inside of the shape. Now, if you want to get rid of the compound path, the word compound path, and if you think that expanding it's going to work, then you're out of luck. I'll select over this shape and choose object compound path, and I'm going to release it. And all that does is just go back to where we were. We've got the inside path and the outside path, but we don't have a hole in the middle. So I'm just going to undo that. Compound paths are necessary. Anytime you've got something with a hole in the middle, it's going to be a compound path. But you know what? If that's worrying you, the word compound path, you can just double click on it. And let's call this donut. It can have a name. It doesn't have to be in those brackets. You don't have to worry about it. It's just a path that has a hole in it. Now, the same thing's going to happen if you expand letters. So this is a piece of type. We can't do anything with it. It doesn't have any anchor points visible or editable right now because it's a character. We could, however, type over it or change it using the type tool. But if we want to be able to do something with it that's really fancy, then we would need to expand it or turn it into a regular outline. So I'll select it, select type and choose create outlines. And that just turns this into outline. So there are now all sorts of anchor points along here. So we've got here is a group with a compound path in it. Illustrator is really good at creating groups and most of the time you don't even need them. So whenever you see them and you don't need them, I suggest you do object ungroup just to keep the glass palette a little bit tidier. You've got a compound path. Why have you got a compound path? Well, you've got a compound path because you've got a hole in it. You've got a hole in the middle of the letter A. If we were to place it on top of something, we would be able to see through it. If we try to release this with object, compound path, release, well, not unsurprisingly, we get two shapes. We've broken it because you can't have a shape with a hole in it that's not a compound path. So let me just undo that. If the word compound path worries you, just call it something completely different. Let's have a look at the letter L and let's expand that with create outlines. Let's go to our group. We have a compound path here as well. Let's just break it out of the group because we've learned that that's a good habit to get into when we don't need a group. Let's go to this compound path and let's release it. Object compound path, release. In this instance, we get a path. Because there was no hole in this shape, we can actually have a path. 
But again, it really doesn't matter if it's a path or a compound path, provided it looks the way you want it to look, that's good. This is a path too. I drew this one with the pen tool and it was just a path by its very nature. One of these, this one here, I think, the line is what I drew in the first place and then I duplicated it to make this line. And with this line, I turned it into a shape. I used the expand shape. So let's see what happens when we take a line. See how this is a line and choose object, shape, expand shape. Well, it just becomes a path. So there really are a few takeaways here. One is that compound paths is nothing more generally than something that's got a hole in it. You need to leave it the way it is or you lose your hole. The new shapes in Illustrator generally will come into Illustrator with a name on them. For example, rectangle. That generally means that there are things in this rectangle that make it a live shape that you can do funny things with. If you don't want it to be like that, and in some cases when you do something with that shape, they will be knocked out. That live shape appearance will actually disappear because of what you've done to the shape. If you don't want it yourself, you can just choose object shape and choose expand shape, and then you just get a regular path. But that's the way Illustrator works. Have a look in the layers palette, keep an eye on the layers palette so that you can begin to understand what's going on. That will help you a lot as you work with Illustrator to get a feel for what the layers palette looks like, get a feel for when you can ungroup things safely, just keeping it neat and tidy. I hope that this video has helped you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell and we'll let you know when new videos are released. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley and thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.